let's come to in history there are only two times in the last hundred years where we have seen a crisis similar to what we are going through right now. One the Spanish in 1918. I'm not going to get into it. 50 to 70 million people died. 50 to 70 million people died. 18 million people in India died. And it came in 1918. And then it tapered off and it went away. People said danger is over. It came back the second phase six months later and killed 50 million people. Now, why am I sharing this with you? Because many people are thinking the lockdown is over, the danger is over. They don't understand the danger is not over till there is a vaccine and that could take a year. Look at South Korea. Look at Singapore. The second phase is back. They never thought it would happen. And the doctors from Harvard University and many Yale are there saying that 150,000 people in USA are dead. But he said the worst is yes to yet to come in September and October in winter. He said we are expecting up to half million deaths. We have to understand what we are doing here. Okay, now the second part is the Great Depression of 1929. Banks failed, stock market crashed, people lost their savings, hundred dollars became fifteen dollars. Dollar lost its value by 85%. And 15 million people lost their jobs. Now, 15 million then is equivalent to 50 million today because the population was only 120 million at that time versus 330 million now. Now, this is the scenario right now. Last week, I checked about 40 to 45 million people are unemployed in the US and the number is rising only in the US. Now, what is the silver lining? Here, let's look at the positive side from here. What is the silver lining? Bansalji's studies have shown whenever unemployment has gone up, self-employment has always gone up. I repeat, whenever unemployment has gone up, self-employment has always gone up. Now, during that Great Depression, there were some people who had no money, no risk-taking ability, nothing to fall back on, but they had one thing, only one thing. They were positive people, only positive. They were called positive entrepreneurs or survivalist entrepreneurs. They were solution-focused. There are some people who are problem-focused. You know what a problem-focused person is? You give them a solution, they'll give you a problem. They have a problem for every solution. Henry Ford said, kick them out, kick them out. We're not stupid. We understand there are problems in life, but we are looking for somebody who's solution focused. Yeah, yeah. These people started a business at that time. And today they are a household word in the U 